Today I'm going to teach you how to create a scrolling glyph in Photoshop. The first thing you want to do is to have your design, your complete design ready, even the parts that are not animated. And then you, once you have everything ready, you want to go to Window and Timeline. And this is going to open this menu for you. And here you have two options. You have the Create Frame Animation option, which is to create like these GIFs where it's like one image at a time. And then you have the Create Video Timeline Animation, which is to create like more smooth GIFs. So I'm going to click the Create Video Timeline option and it's going to open like all the layers you already have in this menu. And what I want to animate here is this banner that says Black Friday Deals. So I'm going to go to the header, which is where the banner is located. And I have to find the two words that I want to animate. And then I will click, you will see that they are each like this way. You can open them and click on the word transform. This is going to allow you to, to transform the position of the, of the layer the way you want to. So in this case, I want the both words to start to end almost the same way as they began. So what I'm going to do, I want this to look smooth. Like you can tell that the GIF ends and where it begins. So I'm seeing that in this layer, it begins in the B of Black Fridays and in this one in the F of Friday. So I'm going to locate those two layers here in my layer menu, click on them and find the next moment where these layers begin. So here I'm going to find that B and try to locate it in the same place. So this way, the GIF will always be running and you won't know where when it starts and where it, where it ends. It's going to be very smooth. Normally, if you hit play, this should reproduce that. But unfortunately, my first shot right now is not quite working in this part. So I can see it, but I know it's working because when I drag this, I see the animation. So I already have it in this case, but you need to have your email divided with this tool, which is the slice tool, because only this part is going to be animated, the first slice. The other ones are not. So you don't want everything to be a GIF because then it's going to be really heavy and it's going to be really difficult to export. So the next part would be to go to File, Export and Save for Web. OK, you're going to have this appear and it's going to show you like each slice as an individual. So what you want is to have like what you can as a JP, JPEG and what you can as a PNG and only the animated part you're going to export as a GIF. You're going to click on save. That should help you export the file in as a GIF. I'm going to show you now how it's going to look once it's exported. So I exported it in the wrong folder for the sake of, you know, fast, being fast. <laughs> but you should select in that part, like the folder that you want to export in everything and the name, whatever you need to do. And this is the final look of the file. This is going a little bit fast. Maybe I will do it a little bit slower next time, but here you have how easy it is to do and how fast I could do it. So I hope this tutorial helps you and you can make your next gifts. Want to discover how much money your email marketing can actually bring you? If that's the case, let our team of email marketing experts show you how. With our free email marketing audit, we'll conduct a comprehensive analysis of your email marketing efforts, provide you with an action plan, and show you how to effectively segment and convert your audience. Simply go to flowium.com slash audit and book your audit today. In case you have any additional questions about this video, please leave them under this video. And to show the support, please, please click on that thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next Thursday. Bye.